Hey guys, what's up? It's Nuclear Videos HD, and I am here with a new episode tie-in for the uh, episode Future of Futures. I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of the episode, but anyway, um, this is actually a really cool and intricate update. Um, I read some of the quest lines online, I was at school all day, um, but this is a really cool update. You get tons of cool stuff, uh, very awesome, so you get to uh, start off the quest line with Homer. So hungry, haven't had eating job in days. If you're hungry, how about an apple? You could probably grow some at Cletus' farm. I said I'm hungry, not peckish. The idea that you can satisfy your hunger by eating a piece of fruit is complete nonsense. Okay, I actually like fruit. Vegetables, that's... Ugh. It's just one of those things grown-ups tell kids to do, but don't actually do themselves. Like brushing your teeth before bed, or reading instead of watching TV, or practicing safe sex. What about thank you cards? I haven't written one since I was 11. Also, don't play video games and don't mindlessly do whatever you're told. So, we're going to go make Homer eat at the Krusty Burger. And there is some new decorations. Uh, Cremo Bot. Uh, this is, whoa, that's actually really big. I did not know how big this robot was. But uh, I'm guessing this is from the episode Cremo Bot. It looks like a cooking sort of industrialist uh, robotic companion. So when you click on it, it um, does the gear moving sounds and stuff. Pretty cool. Uh, that's awesome. And I believe that um, if you did not get it from the Halloween Tree of Horror update, um, Mod Flanders is back, and you can also get the Gypsy Fortune Teller Shop. Um, I think Mod was 90 donuts, and the Gypsy Fortune Teller Shop was 25 or something like that. Really, really cheap price, and both of those are now premium characters and buildings, so um, if you have them, they are now premium rate. Um, other stuff that changed, the um, task for Comic Book Guy and Agnes going on a date has been changed to um, Agnes getting help crossing the street, um, because, you know, Comic Book Guy is now married, so obviously they wouldn't have him go on a date cheating on Komiko. Um, that's pretty much everything that's changed. So... Homer just got out of the Krusty Burger and collapsed dead. Uh, what's going on and who's that fat guy laying on the pavement who looks a lot like me? But obviously isn't because I'm transparent hovering over him. That's you, Homer. You had a heart attack causing your spirit, your spirit to leave your body. Oh yeah, well, if I'm just a spirit, how come you can talk to me? Because I'm just a spirit too. You killed me, Homer. Don't you remember? And I kill a lot of people. Frank Grimes, Sherry Bobbins, that trucker who ate too much steak. It, it gets hard to keep track. And if you're not careful soon, you'll kill yourself. You mean I get a second chance? Woohoo! There were so many things on Earth I never got a chance to eat. No, Homer, that's why I've appeared to you. You need to mend your gluttonous ways otherwise. The next time you binge, it will be the grave for you. Freaky. So, Homer just gets up like nothing even happened. Cool. So, I can't believe I'm being haunted. Again, we've really been, we've been going to the ghosts, going to the ghost well a lot lately. But Maud is the worst ghost of them all because she's making me watch what I eat. Maybe I can get Flanders to reason with her. After all, there's no one a woman is more likely to listen to than her recently married ex-husband. So, what is I supposed to do? Huh? Test book opened? Huh? Make, ask for Ned's help. Uh, oh, I need Ned. Oh, okay. So he's converting people over at the penitentiary. Good boy. Okay, so we're gonna go ask Ned for help. And uh, we're gonna collect some of this stuff real quick. Um, there is a new friendship prize, and I'm actually very, very happy to see this prize because that just proves that a new friendship prize can come with any sort of update. I was expecting only friend uh, friend point prizes to come with new level updates instead of any old content <coughs> content update. So that's really good um, because I I originally thought that the uh, friend point level updates would only be with level updates for the game. How diddly ho diddly hi there diddly neighborin. Shut up, Flanders. I need your help. Maud is haunting me, and I need your help to get her off my back. You're good at driving her away. Remember that one time when you drove her away from the world by killing her? Actually, Homer, that was you. Right, right. Why do I keep forgetting that? So... Let's 
gonna, oh, whoa. So they're gonna be rushed through there. Almost, I'm on my way. And somebody needs a task. Anybody? I think we have to wait for Ned to hurry up and get there. I think I finished that way too early. But anyway, the new friend prize is the Capital City Goofball. Not sure why he would be in Springfield, but uh, you know. You know, Homer, maybe this spooky is this spooking is just a wake-up call. You need to turn your diet around. You want to live to see your kids grow up, don't you? Of course, if that ever actually happens. In the meantime, I'll do what I, what I can to wash my eating. That's the spirit. The so he's going to go and eat everything in Ned's fridge. Awesome. So he's going to go in there and do that. All right, good. Eat everything in Ned's house. Woohoo! Quitting time! So now he's going to collapse over and have a heart attack. I warned you this would happen if you continue to overeat, and now it's the grave for you. So he gets up like nothing even happened. A free decoration has been placed in your inventory linked to the Sunday's episode of The Simpsons, 8, 7 Central on Fox. So we're going to go and check out this cool new decoration, which is a grave. And somewhere in here. Da -da 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 is that it? Yeah, there we go. Homer's grave. So we're gonna place this down. All right, it does nothing, but it is a really cool decoration. Um, Homer's grave with his casket being lowered in. And Homer, hang on a minute, I'm not dead. What's going on here? Well, I'm just a ghost. I can't. I can scare you and try to get you to mend your ways, but I can't actually kill you. Union rules. So what was the whole grave thing about? Well, I said I would be the grave. It would be the grave for you, and I had to honor my promise. More rules. They're a really serious union. But I let. But let me make one thing clear: if you overeat again in the future, I will once again be the grave for you. By which you mean you'll put another decoration in my inventory? That's right. So you're telling me that instead of dying a horrible, painful death from overeating, I get a free grave each time I do it? I uh, guess. Where are you going with this, Homer? Woohoo! Out of my imaginary way, imaginary way, Maud. I'm going to eat like Midwestern. Make Homer gorge himself in, on stolen food to earn free grades. Hurry, it all ends midnight on Saturday. So, Homer's going to raid random fridges for seven hours. That's your fridge, Homer, so it's not really random, but um, go right ahead. So, comes out, dies, and falls on the ground. Hate the heart attacks, love the graves. So, gets back up like nothing even happened again. And, uh... You got a free grave in our inventory. So here lieth a glutton. So it doesn't do anything. I'm not sure if you can see that, if it's glory or not. But all it says for information is here lieth a glutton. So it doesn't really do anything. So it won't really add anything to your, um, you know, to your uh, premium bonus or to your vanity or anything like that. Um, so it's just there. But I can keep on doing that, you know, keep making Homer go and do that. It's uh, going to be a non-permit seven-hour task. I believe that he doesn't have a seven-hour task. But um, you can keep on doing that until midnight on whatever it was, Sunday. And uh, I guess my prediction for Whacking Day was not correct. Um, unless they decide to bring it tomorrow, but I'm guessing that they'll bring it on Monday, Sunday, or Tuesday, one of those days. And uh, I did mention that there was a Capital City Goofball prize that you can get. Um, my friend prizes always seem to lag out. Oh, whoa, it actually didn't. Woo! Capital City Goofball! Woohoo! Okay, so that actually went really fast. I didn't think it was going to go that quick. Um, but there it is, the Capital City Goofball. And that's going to be added to our new category, which is the... Um, which is the... Mascots category, which, in my opinion, should have just... Oh, wow, okay. Sorry, got to go into my inventory to get it. So much stuff. Sorry, I'm just gonna mute that for a second. It's all the way in the back, really. Okay, well, Capital City Goofball. Like I was saying, I think that they should have just added the Capital City Goofball in with a mask, or they should have added the Itchy and Scratchy and Poochie mascots into the full mascot category instead of having crusty land mascots and mascots um but you know either way this is probably going to be the only mascot we get i can't really see any other of them coming in 
but he doesn't have any tasks, but he is very cool. Um, cool looking guy. He has the sound and animation. The uh, horn sound, he jumps up in the air like that. And um, I guess that that's it for the Capital City Goofball who is running through buildings and being a goof. So um, that's it for this update. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Like I said, you can get as many graves as you want. Um, and make sure you guys go get that friend prize. Very cool. And um, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching and subscribe. Peace out and keep on tapping.